Today's video is all about clear coat. Based on the comments you've given us after watching our YouTube videos, we want to spend today looking at clear coat and more specifically application of our VOC high solids clears. We have a number of clears in the range. The majority of these are applied in a one and a half coat productive process, which is the focus of today. Irrespective of whichever one you use, they all share the same method, but they have slightly different behavior. Do yourself a favor and keep your products at a minimum of 18 to 20 degrees. This will give you the best start towards a good finish. Lower temperatures increase viscosity and makes application much more difficult and will lead to problems. Ready for use preparation is important. All of our TDSs have a section product mix. Look at this and choose a suitable setting which is best for the job. Now for the emotional part. Which spray gun and what setup to use? First, read the TDS. Check for fluid tip recommendations. All manufacturers have something out there to suit every taste, but of course that choice is very personal and down to you. As for the setup, we always use fully open fan, fully open needle, and finally we set the pressure using a full trigger. In the beginning, I mentioned that our focus today is on the one and a half coat process. And I gotta say, over the last 20 years, I've seen a lot of different interpretations of this. So let's go back to basics. Let me take you through it step by step. Before I apply the clear on the car, let's take a look at this. A lot of people apply this first half coat incorrectly using a so-called kind of grip coat as we used to call it. This is wrong. What we're actually looking for is a thin and closed half coat to have this kind of appearance. Now to achieve this, what I need to do is to come closer to the object and spray at a faster speed. Without waiting for a flash off, I finish the process applying a full coat at a normal speed and distance. Now if my first half coat is thin and closed like I've described to you, it makes the application of my full coat much easier. If not, the tendency is that I'll need to overload that full coat and that only leads to one thing as we know. So that's the theory, let's put it into practice. On a job this size, it makes sense to put the first half coat on all the panels and then go back with the full coat. When I'm doing a larger job, I like to break it down into sections and finish each as I go, staggering the overlaps to avoid overloading.
here's the job after drying. Only a few bits of trim and the door mirror to refit before I send it on its way. Now, let's have a recap. Read the TDS, paying particular attention to the product mix section. Set your gun up correctly. Remember, it is impossible to set air pressure using your ear. You must use a gauge. Our one and a half coat clears are designed to be used in a continual process like I showed you. Unless the TDS states otherwise, a two coat application is not advised. And if you do so, it will lead to problems. Get the first half coat thin and closed and you're on track for a great finish. Don't overload the full coat. These clears are high in solids, so let them work for you. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to getting your comments. See you soon.